Okay, in this video, we're going to be going over the capacitor lab. Um, you're going to be actually following the steps um, that you see on here in the video, just kind of watching it and taking, looking at the data points. Um, so I just want to show you real quickly. These are typically the size of like the smaller capacitors you have in your lab. Um, the ones that we're using for this experiment are a little bit bigger. Um, so they'll have a little bit more charging capacity. But I want to also show you what like a large capacitor would look like. That's like this. Um, this is actually used for a, a welding power supply, so it has to hold a huge amount of charge and discharge it very quickly. Um, so these are not that common, but the point is, again, they can be dangerous. Um, this could be charged up to 200 volts, and if I touch those leads and it was charged, I could get a shock. Um, or if you connect a capacitor backwards across the positive and negative terminals, um, you can the capacitor can literally explode. So that's not likely to happen in your lab experiment if you're very careful how you wire it. But you want to make sure you do not connect the power directly across the capacitor. It should always go through a resistor. Okay, so we're going to start with a smaller capacitor. And so the switch going to the resistor that's charging the capacitor, and the capacitor is connected to ground then. Um, and then we can discharge it. I can discharge it with pushing this button. Again, this lab is not something you'll be setting up. You don't have these parts. Um, I don't know the larger capacitors for you and the meter we're using to measure the voltage directly across the uh, capacitor I'm going to check real quick here to make sure our power supply is at 10 volts and if not, yeah, it's good um, And so I'm going to go ahead and start charging the capacitor and what you're going to be looking at is this voltage level here um, And also the time and plotting those two so I'm going to discharge the capacitor and we're going to start Well Try that again. Okay, here we go. Okay, it looks like it's fully charged at that point, 99.7%. Okay, and this is part three with a larger capacitor. So I'm going to discharge it and start these hopefully both at the same time. Okay, and there we are at 100%, so or close to 100%. So that's 9.97 volts, which is 99.7. So that gets us up to our 5 tau point. 